The anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, is one of two ligaments in the center of the knee joint. The ACL and posterior cruciate ligament, or PCL, work together to stabilize the knee. The ACL travels from the back to the front of the knee joint and is connected to the femur and the tibia. When performing activities or sports that require quickly changing directions, the ACL plays a large role in allowing the quick movements of starting and stopping. When the legs and body change direction, the ACL holds the femur and tibia together, preventing anterior displacement of the tibia. If an action places too much stress on the knee, the ACL can strain, stretch, or even tear. Without an anterior cruciate ligament, the tibia moves freely and in turn makes the knee less stable. To determine the degree of an ACL injury, knee specialists perform a physical exam followed by diagnostic testing. Specialists utilize x-ray and MRI to confirm injuries to the ACL. If the patient needs surgery, a sports medicine physician performs an ACL reconstruction arthroscopically. To begin an ACL reconstruction surgery, the knee surgeon creates multiple small portals along with an incision on the anterior aspect of the knee. Once inside the knee, the surgeon views the tissues to assess any further damage to the knee joint. The surgeon removes any scar tissue in addition to removing the torn ACL. To reconstruct the anterior cruciate ligament, the surgeon can create the new ACL from an autograft or allograft. An autograft means the surgeon gathers the graft from elsewhere in the patient's body. An allograft occurs when the surgeon uses tissue from a cadaver or a source outside of the body. For ACL reconstructions, most surgeons prefer to use an autograft. During an ACL reconstruction, the autograft typically comes from the patellar tendon or hamstring. The surgeon drills tunnels into the bone and places the new ACL into the tunnels. The surgeon secures the new ACL with anchors and restores the stability to the knee. Following an ACL reconstruction, the patient must participate in physical therapy to regain strength and prevent additional ACL injuries in the future. After six to nine months of rehabilitation, the patient can typically return to competitive sporting activities.